Okay guys, today we're helping my girlfriend's dad, Pierce, move all this stuff. By the way, girlfriend's dad. There you go. So, and Nick's here with me. And um, currently this is what we're looking at. We already moved two couches. So, let's see what else we got. Boom. Here we go. So, not too much. Maybe a two hour job. Two and a half. Let's do it. All right guys, checking in 115. It's been about an hour and a half maybe. Let's see how much we're done. All these couches moved into the moving van over there. Table's gone, everything in the kitchen's gone. Everything in this room is gone. Everything in this room is gone. Except for these empty boxes. Let's take a look at what's in the, uh, the moving truck, okay? Let's do it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> get cheese grated. <laughs> Molly gets cheese grated get shredded, up. Man. Get shredded, alright guys. Let's take a look at look at this package job. If it fits your moving van. IIFYMV or IIFYMT. If it fits your moving truck. Check this shit out. Look at that. All packed in and there's a there's a shelf up there with hella boxes. It is so tightly packed, guys, I'm serious. And I'm shirtless. Our day's work, time to eat. Whatever this is, I don't know what it is, but it's like Woo. way too much fat. Puts me over my fat macros, so I'm gonna take some from tomorrow. Let's go. Tying this shit up. Head home, guys. Want to say bye to everyone? Hey, it's been good in Susanville. <laughs> yes! Alright. Alright, it's recording. Okay, guys, so... We have to pull over, we gotta pull over so this guy can take a piss. <laughs> Can't hold his shit. Well, neither can I. Yeah. But, we see these fucking titties, like, publicly displayed. Tits. Dicks and balls. But there's these big ass statues, and uh, we're in Auburn right now. These things are like and, uh, 50 feet high. These are huge. They're like uh, two, three stories tall. There's a chick with a bow right there. Yeah, and they're um, completely naked. Chick with naked. a spear. Yeah, they're, they're really- Tits hanging out. Um, and then they all have weapons and shit. I can't get a good view of that. It's... But uh, if you guys know what these are, please share the share with us. Because we don't really know what we're looking at. We want to hang out. There. Check this shit out, guys. This guy is uh, parachuting. This is amazing. Parachuting man of peace. Parasailing. Holy shit. You got a better angle. What is he on a bike? Is he on a bike? It's it looks like a bike. Holy shit. Let me try to focus on this. Wave back, ho! Look at that! I don't know, I can tell. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay guys, let's look at the task ahead of us. What do we got? What do we got? Oh! And our, our wires held it. Look at that. It's yes. about to fall. Okay, so let's see. So <laughs> Look I've at got this. The, I've got about the chair. The chair didn't move. But of course, I did say the ironing, ironing board. board. Yeah. Yep. yep. You're right. And then chair didn't this move. slit, and that's it. Wait, this shifted this way, and then this fell through here. Ah. But okay. the wire held it up. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. Our Not wires. <laughs> our wires. Oh, I tell you what. Yeah. This. Was up there, so this did come down. <laughs> okay, at least Those it's facing two up. Over there, yeah. Nice. Right. Back home from uh, moving hella shit. I just thought, wow, I'm looking pretty lean right now. Um, anyways, today's one of those days where my energy expenditure is probably extremely, extremely high. It, I probably freaking did like two cardio sessions worth of just extra activity at least I'm thinking you know from moving all those boxes tables chairs sofas um, so I guess I'm gonna I could choose whether to eat more or eat less but honestly I'm just gonna keep calories basically where they're at and not eat more to compensate for extra energy spent and just tomorrow pick up things like normal um, 
So, one other thing was that today my intake was already off. Uh, not just my expenditure, because obviously I burned a shitload of calories with uh, moving today. Um, my macros were definitely off today. And this was pr probably one of the couple only days so far in this prep that my numbers have been off. And I'll, uh, I'll read my numbers to you guys so you know how off I am. And um, I'm honestly off by an uh, undetermined amount, too. So this is going off what I ate at the restaurant. And uh, I, <laughs> I this could totally be off. Because we went to the, that restaurant and I got a 14-ounce uh, um, certified Angus ribeye steak. And there's a ton of different inputs in my fitness pal. Uh, ranging from it saying it might be 50 grams of fat all the way to 100. Um, I have no idea how much fat was in that. It tasted delicious. It was probably a lot of fat. Who knows? Um, so I ended up, even if I chose the lowest amount of fat in my fitness pal for, for what I ate today, I had at least 83 grams of fat. Um, carbs so far 320 and protein 250. So 83, 320, 250 is where I end at today, and it's about 2,925 calories. Um, but you also got to keep in mind how much energy I spent today, which was a lot. So it is what it is. I'm not going to freak out, eat a ton of food, try to overcompensate, and, and do this and that and that and this. Tomorrow, I'll all weigh in and I'll continue and try to hit my macros as good as as good as I can every single day. Uh, the reason we ate out at this particular place was uh, we're in Susanville and um, just wanted to go eat somewhere. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so probably could have done a better job, but you know it is what it is. Sometimes things happen, and you just gotta know how to move on from there. So. Chances are I probably burned way more calories than normal. I consumed a little bit more calories than I normally do, just a little bit. I'm a little bit over 100. Uh, and I probably burned like 500 to 1,000 more than normal. So chances are tomorrow I'll probably wake up to a new low weigh-in. So I'll let you guys know what that new low weigh-in is. Um, I'm feeling probably... It's probably a, you know, a very inaccurate one too because I ate all my food basically prior to 6 p.m. today. So it'll probably end up saying, telling you guys... 165 on the scale, 165 to 166, and keep in mind uh, this morning and the one before I, I was 166.9, so it's going to say I weigh like one or two pounds less just based off all these different factors, and then once I am back on the normal numbers, normal energy expenditure, um, it'll probably co come back up to 166.5 or so on Tuesday, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Tomorrow I'm taking off, just like today I took off. Um, since yesterday I did a, a push and pull workout together. So I have two days off, today and tomorrow, and then back doing my uh, my deadlift workout for legs um, on Tuesday with the boys. So that's that, guys. Had a really cool day today. Um, seriously tired. I woke up like at 6 a.m. and it's now 10.50. So I've been up for a while doing a ton of work. But um, had a really good time with Nick and Pierce, my girlfriend's dad. Have a good night, guys. What the hell? What? 164.5? What? On my way to the shirt guy, pay him, write him a check. Uh, my shirt guy actually lives about 15 minutes away from me. So it's really convenient whenever I need to pay him or talk to him, we just hook up. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. 88 degrees right now, so it's pretty warm. And it's supposed to be 91 degrees uh, later today. Sacramento's getting pretty hot, guys. Oh, it's getting pretty hot. But, um... It's like I'd still be so much hotter if I wasn't this lane right now. Where'd he go? Oh, okay.
Dude, no, it's, it's in it's in the thing. Where? It's in it's inside. Ah! <laughs> How do we get it out? <laughs> this reminds me of that meme where like there's a spider inside the toilet paper roll. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it's like forever cool. sitting here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Its legs are moving. We could Wait. just use the cloth to kill it in there. Like put your hand on that and just <laughs> or something you don't need. I don't know where it's paper towel. Sacrifice to win <laughs> or live <laughs> or live. <laughs> I'll <try it> back. <laughs> Strong spider. <laughs> oh, yourself. Chipotle today. On brand. Okay. Chipotle time, Game of Thrones time, egg whites time, and Die Mountain Dew time. Let's do this, guys. Just take it! Woo! For the record video, April uh, 29th, eating some, uh, just one serving of ice cream right now. And, um, let me show you guys. So, it's just like this. Dryer's half fat, low fat ice cream. And, um, just so you guys know. Good morning guys, April 30th, April 30th, UK body power, it's getting close guys. April 30th, beautiful day, wearing my Omar's um, real Super Saiyan's deadlift shirt, going for some new PRs today, better hit that shit. Anyways, uh, driving to the gym today, um, driving to the gym today, and I got a lot of shit to do today, fuck. I gotta close out one of my bank accounts from Chase because I never use that damn that damn bank. So it's like I might as well just pull the money out. Plus, I need to uh, um, get ready to buy my new camera, anyways. So I'll be doing that. And um, like I said, I'm still stuck. Still not sure which shirt or which uh, camera to get. 5D Mark II, Mark III, Black Magic, whatever. All I know is once I have. Well, the money's already ready, but it's just... I just need to sit down and fucking pick. Um, but yeah, I have to do that today. I want to go to the bank and then have my freaking credit limit raised. Um, for my credit card, the max I have is like $500 or something like that. Uh, and I've had that for like two or three years, so it's like I might as well have it raised in the case that... You know, I might have an emergency, I might need more than 500 measly ass dollars. And also, like, even on my debit card, there's some sort of damn limit on that. Because I remember, uh, anytime I try to make a big purchase, whether it's like a thousand, or like, usually three or more thousand dollars, it just doesn't go through unless I call in and tell them, hey, I'm trying to make a purchase, why won't it let me? Um, and I think it's just for security reasons. Um, they probably see me as a child in the system or something. So anytime I try to pay my tuition back in the day, or nowadays when I try to make a big purchase, like my freaking uh, federal income tax, I couldn't even do that. Couldn't even pay the whatever thousand, you know, like nine thousand dollars I owed, and um, couldn't even send that in because the damn website wouldn't recognize or. My card wouldn't go through, so I gotta go to the bank and uh, have my debit card limit raised to um, or re removed completely. It's like bullshit. Anyways, bank problems, first world problems, guys. These are the problems that don't let it get to you because uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's so minute, so small, it doesn't even matter. So never stress about these little things like this. Anyways, head to the gym, like I said. Um, I always have so much things on my mind and on my plate, things that I want to do. Constantly thinking, constantly just doing. And uh, I tend to get really easily sidetracked or try to do th three or four or five things at once. 
I really need to uh, keep my head on straight, just be doing one thing at a time, one task at a time. I found that that's the best way that I work. So that's been my issue when it comes to productivity. I'm trying to do too many things at once. That's what kills me. So. One thing at a time, guys. Holy shit, kid. This guy needs to learn how to drive a fucking motorcycle. Fuck. Going crazy. Seriously. Anyways. Alright, turn this off for a sec. People question and ask why I'm gaining strength during a cut, like on deadlifts and shit. But not everyone spends three hours doing mobility every day. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Accusing me of steroids and shit. Anyways, I'm floss right now. Floss. I'm playing with this band over here. I don't actually do three hours, I do like 30 minutes to 45 minutes every workout it seems. So you want to get started on mobility work and you don't know where to begin. A good place to begin is a website called mobilitywod.com, stands for workout of the day. So once again, it's a website by uh, Dr. Kelly Starrett. Um, he has a YouTube channel called San Francisco CrossFit and the website is mobilitywod.com and on the website you can type in any sort of issue anything you want to fix uh, whatever kind of body part needs more mobility etc and uh, you can find the answer to your question so if you're looking for more hip mobility boom type in hip mobility you'll find something elbow tendonitis type it in you'll find something so um it's something I spend a lot of time doing because uh, I take lifting seriously and everyone thinks they take lifting seriously, but they don't put uh, mobility work or any sort of stretching or any warming up into their into their schedule, whether they think they're too busy or they maybe they are too busy. But um, someone who uh, doesn't like being injured or getting injured <laughs> should definitely prioritize mobility work because uh, it'll keep you healthy in the long run. Keep your joints healthy. Keep you gaining strength. Keep you as strong as possible. Um, I treat this seriously. Um, lifting weights for me is serious. It's not just fucking around, but um, it's something I love doing and something I make sure that I uh, do as you know as optimal as uh, as I can. So worked my way up to like 455 for six. Now here I'm doing 275 pound front squat for I'm not really sure. Um, hmm. But what can I tell you guys? Definitely Google the book "Becoming a Supple Leopard," and um, that's a book that I have. That uh, poof. Any sort of issues you think you have, that book may most likely have a solution for it. You know, issues with form. Um, something's hurting. You want to fix something. You want to increase your flexibility in a muscle or your mobility. Hit that shit up. Uh, it's it's incredible how much uh, just doing a little bit of uh, non-lifting work can uh, do for your body, make you feel good, and make you be able to perform exercises better. So here's my boy uh, Nick. Hell yeah. He's got his squat shoes on, getting some nice deep squats, nice deep front squats. He has his uh, Ray Bans on. This guy is making a ton of progress. It's insane how much progress he's making. PR, come on. Um, He's doing everything right, you know, yeah, focusing on mobility. He's doing just as much work on mobility as I am. Before our workouts, he's spending 30 minutes, 45 minutes on mobility work. Just like me, and, you know, he's a full-time student. Um, so, I always get these excuses. People say, I don't got time for that. It's, uh, it's like, all right, I guess you don't take this shit seriously, and you're okay with making suboptimal, you know, shitty-ass gains. So, damn, from this angle, it looks like I'm not even going deep. But that's because it's a, uh, it's a kind of up-down angle. But um, man, I fucking love front squats. There's something about it I just love. I just love front squats. They're just they're just a fun movement. So fun. Holy shit! That was an oh, that was an amazing workout. Killed it. Killed everything. If only I could have done a little bit better on uh, front squats. But hey. Killed it on the deadlifts. Did pretty good on the front squats. Pretty damn good on the leg curls, which you didn't get to see. 
And then I did uh, lunges with 85 pound dumbbells. Um, sets of 10 per leg, walking lunges. No fucking straps. No straps in this bitch. Killed it. Standing uh, calf raise, did like 400, uh, 480 pounds for uh, four sets of six. So definitely super successful day in the gym. I just went to Chase and I uh, went in to close my accounts and actually I, I couldn't close it because I have a pending transaction from Amazon. Uh, I almost forgot that I had my Amazon affiliate store putting money into my Chase account. By the way, I have a, I have an Amazon store, which basically it's just a, a list of the products or the li a list of stuff that I've used and shown in videos. And uh, it's a way for me to, one, earn a little bit of commission off of the things that I use and recommend. Which shit, I mean, I deserve a little bit of something something from, uh, you know, I mean, anyways, like for example, I mean, how many people have bought Inzer belts? Because I've said go buy Inzer belts. But anyways, um, that's that. So it's pretty cool. I got a little Amazon store. I always have the link in the description box. But I didn't even know that people were buying shit from it. But uh, apparently, the, the the check that they send me or they elect electronically transfer to me has been growing every single month. I didn't even know about that shit. So I was like, hey, that's a present surprise. But unfortunately, a pending transaction in place right now, I wasn't able to close my account. Plus at Chase, they have girls working at the desks and shit, and you're just trying to close your account and they're putting on pouty faces. I was like, oh God, just let me close my account, please. Please just let me close this shit. But um, that's that. I uh, headed to Safe Credit Union because since I'm going overseas, I uh, I should let them know. And I, I read that, you know, online, there's a lot of different precautions you should take when you're gonna go travel. And uh, I guess here's some, I'm gonna throw them that at you. You should let your bank know so that your bank doesn't, uh, well, so your bank might not deny all the charges that you try to make, which makes sense, right? If you live in California and then all of a sudden shitloads of transactions are occurring, in Birmingham or London, your bank's gonna be kind of confused and you'd want your bank to maybe not allow that to happen for security purposes so your money doesn't just fly away from you. So I guess it's a good thing. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to the bank to tell them, hey guys, this is what I'm doing, I'm going to the UK. Also to raise my debit card limit, my credit card limit, so. I think I told you that this morning, I might have. Maybe I'm just going retarded. Anyways. Um. Yeah, headed to safe. I got a Chipotle burrito right here. I'm actually fucking making two Chipotle burritos for my macros today. Don't give me any slack, guys. I'm making it happen. It fits. It fits. But, um, love you guys. Had a little altercation with Bruno Gergen in the gym. In alter what? A fight. Oh. I believe he's just fucking around. April 30th, beat him to watching Oz. <laughs> It's April 30th, repping that there Omar shirt, eating some Chipotle, uh, PR'd on fucking everything at the gym, so that was awesome, and uh, treat myself to a little bit of Oz and a Chipotle burrito, and it's April 30th for the record. <laughs>